Want to know the hottest food trends for 2020? Yes. yes. You are in luck. Our good friend Max Lugavere is here with a sneak peek. And every time Max comes, I'm at once excited and also afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no. And today is no different. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to be honest, you guys, this might be my favorite trio that I've brought to you really? thus far. Because, yeah. That's saying something. Yeah. Well, first, we've got black fermented garlic. So okay, this garlic. is something that, yeah, in Korean culture, they've been fermenting garlic for 4,000 years. Mm. We all know that regular garlic is very good for us. It's a profound anti-cancer agent, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very good for gut health. But fermented black garlic, it basically is aged garlic that's heated in a high humidity, usually like an oven, for 90 days. And it takes on like a fig-like consistency. Oh, wow. So open the inside. Open the inside, yeah. take it out. Can, and can it, I try it? Yeah, try it, take a bite. It so, doesn't have the strong smell of typical no. garlic. It doesn't have the strong smell, and it's not going to give you garlic breath. You can eat okay. it anytime, and the antioxidant capacity of black garlic is actually way higher than fresh garlic. This is phenomenal. And the cool thing is, so produce, fresh fruits and vegetables, are good for us in part because they contain compounds called polyphenols, which are potent antioxidants in the body. This, because of the fermentation process, has up to ninefold the polyphenols compared to fresh garlic. So it's amazing that, you know, cultures have been fermenting foods for millennia because of their health benefits and the fact that they can help preserve foods. And so I'm a big fan of black so garlic. So how do we where, make where this do you, happen? Yeah, I was just gonna say, where do you get this? <laughs> yeah, so you can buy it in most supermarkets. You can mm -hmm. find it because, again, it's a staple in um, certain Asian cuisines. Um, so you can buy it already well, fermented. And, and this is how you buy it. You didn't do anything to this. You Did just peel it, to it, eat it. Yeah, and you that's just it. crack it open. It's a lot easier to extract from the shell True. compared to all right, fresh one garlic. One for one. Let's move on. For one. All right. So up next, we've all tried beef jerky. I think this is beef jerky made with beef liver. Mm. It may smell not too dissimilar from a dog treat. Uh, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. No, that's I'm not true. selling I it. Was yeah. That, yeah, but actually, if you look at if you look at like a pack of wild dogs, the alpha dog usually is going to go for organ meats first because they're the most nutrient dense parts of the animal. So liver is basically a superfood, and so now we're starting to see beef jerkies and convenient snacks that are using organ meats because we're just learning so much about their nutritive value. And I must say, I, I highly this recommend tastes that. so much better than just liver. Yeah. Last but not least, we've got a sparkling apple cider vinegar tonic. So this is a mm. calorie-free, sugar-free, sugar sparkling soda, if you will, made with apple cider vinegar, which we know is really good for us. So apple cider vinegar is great to fight fungus in the body. Um, I have a podcast called The Genius Life, and an expert that I interviewed recently on fungus told me that apple cider vinegar is one of the best ways to fight candida. Mm -hmm. And it also shows very powerful anti-diabetic effects, meaning it can help your body better regulate blood sugar. So take a swig. I, actually, I like this it, is good. It's, you it's like it? No, I do I like, like this. I think the sparkle takes the edge off the tartness of the vinegar. Yeah. So it makes it a little easier to drink. It, it does feel like more. You like, like it? A tonic. Okay, yeah. that's cool. They throw stevia in it, so it's it's sugar free. Mm -hmm. If you're on like a low carb diet, it's oh, great. Oh, so that's why it's sweet. It's from the stevia. Yeah, it's from some stevia. Interesting. But like a lot of people now like kombucha, right? Kombuchas are great. They've got probiotics in them, but a lot of them can have high quantities of sugar, which we know isn't good for us, especially at the quantities that many of us eat sugar in. So this is great. Zero calories, no sugar, cleanses the palate, and uh, is really good for it's your health. It's bubbly. It's bubbly. You get that bubble fix? Like your personality, yeah. <laughs> Max, you're too, too kind. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of, of foods that are going to actually be additive. Like, I'm human. I'll snack. And I have, you know, like what I think many people have, snacksidents, where, you know, you reach for things that are not necessarily as good for you. <laughs> snacksidents. Yeah. I've never, never I heard of that. Yeah, that's that, a maxism. That's a maxism, right? But, like, imagine that you can have a snack that's actually going to, like, bolster your health. And you help. know what we call yeah. those? Maxidents. Maxidents. Good to I have you. I love it. Really Thank you appreciate so much. it.